Hi, it's Miles, and uh, we are taking some uh, questions from uh, the very sharp and curious and uh, uh, above average kids who are a part of the Challenger Learning Centers. First of all, we're going to go to uh, kids from PS110. And uh, let's go. Uh, Yasno has this. Uh, do you have fun being an astronaut? I have to say that being an astronaut is the best job in the universe, and I should know. Um, it, it's uh, just a wonderful experience to be able to uh, to float freely uh, above the planet, to, to travel at these incredible speeds, to go outside on spacewalks. But uh, you know, life is life is an adventure, and, and that's why uh, my friend Keith, come on in here, Keith. This is Keith. Uh, Keith and I are here at uh, Everest Base Camp. Uh, this is uh, an incredible adventure to explore. We're doing some science up here. We're we're climbing. We're um, seeing a part of the world that uh, very few people get a chance to see. So um, that would be my advice: is uh, to look for adventure in your life, and uh, and uh, you'll be really rewarded. Excellent, excellent advice. Um, what what is your favorite thing to do in space? And I think I know the answer to this one, but you gotta you gotta spill the beans. Well, uh, I, for me, I'm a spacewalker. Uh, from my very first days as an astronaut, I was selected to uh, to train and to prepare for uh, for spacewalks. So to go outside on a spacewalk is the ultimate astronaut experience. To be outside, just holding on with your fingertips, and to to uh, to fly through the northern lights or to look down on the Himalayas just through your bubble visor, uh, it's it's exhilarating. But uh, any job in space is wonderful and. Uh, by the time you finish school, there are going to be all sorts of wonderful opportunities uh, in space. Not only um, uh, with the NASA programs that will be going back to the moon and onto Mars, but there will also be commercial space flight. Uh, so, you know, we'll have, uh, I, I believe, uh, rocket planes that will take us from uh, New York to Tokyo in 45 minutes. So we'll need space pilots to take care of that. And we may have hotels up in uh, Earth orbit. So people might be able to work and live up there. So uh, it, it's really exciting to think about the future. All right, let's let's go to a question from Kayla. Uh, did anything ever go wrong on a space mission? Says Kayla. And I think she might mean one of your missions. Well, yes. Uh, my last mission uh, was called STS-120. It was October and November of 2007, and we were. Uh, we had relocated this large solar ray truss from the top of the space station out to the very far reaches of the space station. And it had these solar panels that were, were retracted. They were pulled back in so that we could move them. And once, once everything had been bolted back together, uh, we commanded them to slowly start to expand, to extend out to their full length, and they ripped apart. And it was really amazing what uh, engineers on the ground were able to do within three days they figured out a way to get me on the end of a 90-foot robotic boom out to this uh, solar array and uh, stitch it back together, basically, to do surgery on it. And, uh, you know, it's very, very challenging work, uh, figuring out the tools and the robotic uh, paths to get a person out there in a way that had never been planned before uh, was, was a real uh, triumph for NASA. So you want to say something about that? Here's what a... The tools that Scott, like one of the tools that Scott used in space, and we're going to have him try and use this on the mountain here. But you can see that it's uh, got all sorts of little clips in here, and you open it and close it like this. So uh, the challenges may be great, but there's lots of tools, and there will always be the need for new tools and people to invent those new tools. So that's another reason to be studying uh, very hard in school. All right. Hey, who's, who's the tool in the middle there between the two of you? <laughs> oh, hey, this, this is Kaji. Come on, come, step forward. Kaji is the head cook at base camp. Step oh. up a little bit. Step up, up you don't, you so don't, you don't you want to see. say bad things right, about right him. There. Right. This is Miles O'Brien. Hey, Kaji, how are you? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and you're talking to school Kaji. children in New York uh, and around the country, actually. Uh, but this is the man that prepares all of our, our meals here at base camp. He's a very important guy. And last night he made chicken sizzler yeah. and it was the best meal we've had in two months here chicken sizzler i, I notice i notice he's got a uh, he's got a new york cap on is he is he he's not from new york i gather 
Yeah, yeah, he does have a New York cast. Uh, you're not from New York, are you? Where's your home? Fort So he's from this region, but what, what village? Uh, Kirun. Kirun? Kirun. Kirun, okay. Uh, so he is from this region of Nepal, uh, but he is a, a New York fan, and he, he's got the, the cap to prove it. All right. Well, good. The, the New York kids at the uh, Challenger Center are going to love that. All right, so uh, Kayla, also, Kayla also wants to know, Scott, is, has anything gone wrong on your climb on Mount Everest? And uh, when I asked that question, I think you can count uh, last year in this as well. Yeah, well, that's a great question, Kayla. Um, last year, I was uh, on the 59th day of my expedition climbing Mount Everest. I was, I was at Camp 3. 24,500 feet when I ruptured a disc in my low back and had to uh, turn around from uh, the summit. And it was uh, very, very painful. But on the bright side, I had an unlimited supply of ice. So every 20 or 30 minutes, I would just lay down and ice my back down. And then I would get back up and continue uh, my descent. But uh, very, very painful. But I've had surgery now, and I'm very strong. And uh, I think this is the year that I'll uh, be able to summit. We're feeling good about that. All right, Avery wants to know this. Why are you climbing Mount Everest? And I guess if you want, you can quote Mallory if you want. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I'm, I'm an explorer, and I, I love adventure, and I love challenging myself. I love things that are, are uh, difficult, uh, because when you succeed at difficult things, there are great rewards. And so, um, you know, I've been climbing since I was about 15 years old. Uh, progressively taller and taller and harder and harder mountains. And this, I think, is the, the biggest test for me. And uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's really uh, a, a great challenge. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if I'm up, up to uh, that challenge. Uh, and it was Mallory who said, because it's there. Yeah, all right. And this is for both of you. Um, is it cold up there? <laughs> Not now, but it can get very cold at night. How cold? Yeah, it, uh, right before sunrise is the coldest part of the day, and so it can be well below zero here at base camp. Uh, up high, you know, the temperatures have been uh, running around uh, minus 10 to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit up on the summit. So uh, you know, we, we wear, uh, it's almost like wearing a sleeping bag. It's a full down suit when we're up high on the mountain. Must, must be kind of hard to move around. It's kind of like being in a spacesuit. Hey, this is, Avery also wants to know, are you sick of it? Keith, you want to answer that? Yeah. Uh, I've only been here a week, so I, I, I don't know what it's like to be sick of it yet, but uh, I'm still having fun. He's been here for well over a month. He's really the one you should be asking. <laughs> you know, this is uh, you know one of the, the big adventures of my life, and I you know I've aspired to this. For so long, but I, I tell you, I really am homesick. I have uh, a wife and two kids back in uh, Houston, Texas, who I miss very much. Um, but I, I obviously, this is such a beautiful place. You can see behind us. This is the Kumbu Ice Fall, the very beginning part of the route up the mountain. Um, great people. You met uh, Kaji, and uh, you know the the Sherpa people are just so kind to us. Um, so I, I love being here. But that said. I would love to get up to the summit in the next week and then get on a plane and get back home to see my family. Get her done, as they say, as Larry the Cable Guy says. Get her done. All right, Alex wants to know this. Get her done. 